guys, Lou Boyer and family here. We are heading southbound on the 405 freeway down to San Diego where my daughter is in a cheer competition. And if I can break free, <laughs> I'll try and find a king snake or maybe a rattlesnake. We'll see. So yeah, able to break free here for a couple hours. Uh, the sun's sort of breaking out a little bit. That might help uh, with the odds on finding something. But it is, it is still late January, so we'll see. All right, so the spot I'm going to is only like uh, maybe about 10 minutes from here. So it's pretty convenient. Uh, that's just no traffic. I guess there's some big uh, golf tournament with Tiger Woods in it, so we'll see. All right, so I'm at a spot I've never been to before. It's about 62 degrees out. I've got jeans and boots on just in case, because, uh, yeah, probably the top snake I'd probably, you know, most likely encounter would be a Southern Pacific rattlesnake. Um, but, you know, again, it is early in the season, so I might not see anything. But let's see if I can find the boards. All right, well... I found some debris here, and I'm just going to start flipping and see what happens here. I don't know if this is a good sight, not a good sight, um, but we'll see what we find. I might use my hook for part of it, at least. And I won't video every board I flip, but I'll video most of them. <laughs> and then I'll edit it down to the ones where I actually found something. All right, so I flipped this piece of carpet over, and as you can see, little scorpion down there not what I'm after but still kind of cool all right this one might be easier just to use my hand uh, let's see what happens here hmm nothing looks promising though yeah this one I can just do by hand uh, oh there's a snake over there I might set the camera down right here Yep, little gopher snake. All right, so here we go. First snake of the year for me here in my uh, hometown of Southern California. And a uh, beautiful little San Diego gopher snake. Um, these get pretty big. I mean, they get, you know, about five feet, maybe six feet in length. So not quite two meters, but uh, this is just a little one. And he is uh, quite active because he's pretty warm. But uh, this might be the best video I get is just holding them like this. But what a sweet start. It was like my third piece that I flipped. Uh, I'm going to let this guy go back where I found him and uh, keep flipping. But what a great start, huh? All right, here you go. Sweet. <laughs> All right, so very cool first snake of the year for me here in Southern California. Um, there's a lot to flip, I believe, in this area, so I'm just going to keep videoing and keep flipping, and hopefully we'll turn up some more. So from the looks of this spot here, you can see there's a lot of areas where there used to be boards, and they're gone. So there's a good chance that, you know, someone moved their stuff. A lot of guys in Southern California don't like other people, you know, herping their spots, even though it's on public land. Here's another spot where a board was moved. You know, I get it. People here are real secretive about their spots. And that's why I try and video in such a way as you can't really tell exactly where I am. Um, that said, you know, I'm not here to take any snakes or anything. I just want to share the excitement of finding them. So I'm going to head to a different spot and see if I can't find something to flip. All right, so uh, just a few minutes away now, I'm at my second spot. Now, again, this isn't my spot when I say my spot. It's just a spot I found. I haven't been here before. I don't know if there's any boards here, if they've been removed. Uh, but let's go see. Well, so far, no boards but one little rock. And you never know. Could be a little ringneck snake. Not the case, but you got to look. 
And I gotta be honest, it's tough venturing out of a place you've never been, hoping to find something to flip, because you really don't know which way to go. Um, oh, here we go, look at this. <laughs> All right. Come on, give me a nice king snake, would be awesome. Nothing. I'm going to try and put it back the way I found it. I'm guessing by the looks of some of these boards, I don't know if anybody's been here in a few years. Um, that's not really helping me right now because it is early in the season, but uh, these might be good in another month or two. That said, in another month or two, if you don't know where these things are exactly located, you will never find these things. Like, like never. <laughs> ah, bummer. Well, I'm glad at least I got to find something to flip. Um, you know, that's great and all, but... Oh, there's a gopher snake. Another gopher snake. So I got this guy out, just so you can see him. He's pretty defensive already. He hasn't struck, but he looks like he's about to. And that said, I'm just gonna let him go on his way. We already saw one, and here we go. There's the release. He's gonna probably just kind of swim his way out and back under the board, if he can get some grip. <laughs> And there he goes. All right, so super stoked, go for snake number two. Um, you know, I wish it would have been something different, but at the same time, uh, it almost got away. I wanted to grab it real quick just to get a quick video of it. But two gopher snakes and still kind of wandering around. I really don't know where anything is here. I don't have a phone with me. I don't have a GPS of any sort. So I'm literally just kind of wandering around and hoping to find stuff to flip. Oh, skinks. <laughs> Early season skinks. Yeah, go little guy. All right, well, skinks are usually a bad sign. They mean that uh, you need to let the board sit for about another month or so, or cook, so to speak. Um, you know, late February is when I should be looking. And based on what I've seen, I'm gonna let everything sit here for another month. I'm not gonna do anything else today. Uh, you know, there's another spot I could go to and try and flip, but I'm just gonna leave, leave it be. Um, I wish I could show you more, just two small gopher snakes, not a great video, but uh, yeah, that's the way it goes sometimes. So uh, thanks for joining me on the adventure either way. As always, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you want to, and uh, we'll see you.